Radical. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving. For those of you that don't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's basically a holiday where people just kind of pig out. They eat, they eat, and they eat some more. And then family and friends, they bring more things for you to eat. And it's kind of an insult. It's kind of an insult if you don't eat some of the stuff. So, man, oh, man, I, I, I'm a bit out of it. I had a lot of stuffing. The stuffing, I'm feeling the stuffing. But you know, it's that one day of the year where the holiday, it means to eat. And also to be thankful. To be thankful for what you have. So, I want to talk about playlist. To you fellow creators out there, how many of you utilize a playlist? Do a lot of you creators even know much about the playlist? Well, for me, the playlists are fun because I get to take a lot of my uploads and I put them in different playlists. And it's just... I don't know. I mean, fun's maybe too strong of a word, you know, but I like doing it. I like building playlists. I like being able to sit back and look and say, that's 80 quality uploads right there in that playlist. You know, that is, that is quality time spent entertaining people online, you know, but here's the thing about playlist. It's sometimes difficult to make decisions when it comes to playlist and what you would put in playlist. Now, I have series that I put in playlists, and that's kind of easy. You know, show off Saturdays, you know, got comment, uh, radical comment response, and then comment of the week. You know, I have series that I'm always going to put in a playlist. Uh, recently, last year, I added radical rapid-fire comment response, which is maybe an interesting choice for a playlist because it in itself is very random. But I feel because it's part of my, like, regular kind of rotation, I put it in a playlist. But I'm thinking about expanding out my playlist, but I don't want it to look messy. Let me explain what I mean by that. There was a time, a period years ago, where I had playlist, And not only did I have, like, the playlist for, you know, the comment response shows, but I had individual playlist connected to individual YouTubers. Because a lot of people, they requested that. They said, listen, we need you to have a dedicated playlist of the Angry Joe uh, uploads. We need something for that. And then they would maybe link that playlist and, you know, people would enjoy that. But the thing was, as the channel expanded and I went from, you know, mostly talking about in the very beginning, the early times, you know, Review Tech USA, uh, Angry Joe, Alpha Megasin, there was in the beginning, like maybe 10 or less YouTubers I just kind of really focused on. And then I, I just expanded. And people demanded me, there was more demand, rather, for me to talk about, you know, more niche YouTubers, uh, different kind of YouTubers, mostly directed into the gaming sphere. But then, you know, the news regurgitation, uh, you know, news networks beyond Review Tech USA, talk about Young, yeah, talk about Boogie, talk about this, talk about that, you know. And then I found that I was creating like, all these playlists and it was getting out of control. It was getting out of hand. So then I looked at it and I said like, okay, should there be a Chibi Reviews playlist? Should there be? You know, I mean, four or five uploads, does that warrant a playlist when another playlist would have like maybe 60 or 70 uploads? So the thing about the playlist is I'm not going to let it be messy if I go into expanding the playlist. But my idea is my ultimate goal would be to actually go through the entire 1,000 plus upload channel and actually put almost everything into neat playlist. That is a goal. I don't know if I'll ever really attain that goal because that would take a lot of time and effort to actually go through the entire channel. And YouTube, when you go through all your videos, I don't know if you creators notice this, but like it, it just it takes forever to actually go through and scroll through all of your uploads and to add them to playlist. But if I expand it, then, of course, like, the biggest thing I could do would probably be able to put the YouTube discussion and YouTuber discussion maybe into one gigantic, massive playlist. But, I mean, I don't know if I will really be able to do that, though. Not that I probably couldn't, you know, find the time to actually do it. But here's the thing. YouTube and YouTuber discussion... It's really broad, right? Because let's say if I have 
let's say, for instance, uh, Smash JT or an OEB Pete conversation around their channel or one of their uploads, but it happens to be mostly about the Intellivision Amico, then that does does that become a gaming console playlist? You see, I could split between the two. You know, these are decisions I think about on the channel, right? Um, some of you might like just an Amico criticism playlist, but I think that would get a little messy unless I actually just uh, broke it down between discussions about the console and the games and not really the YouTubers, but sometimes a lot of that stuff kind of meshes in together. So it's just me, you know, talking about in one of my three uploads planned tonight, playlist. What do you think about playlist? Do a lot of you, you know, like the playlist I have right now? Do does it is it helpful to a lot of you that maybe miss out on some of the uploads when I regularly upload them, but you're like, hey, whew, I can check out this comic cuts because it's in a playlist. There's no worry for me to like, you know, keep on it right now. I think it's really helpful. Um just let leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get me a Tums and maybe we'll make it through two more of these uploads tonight.